You're listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. In a decision by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Apple Inc. has been directed to include a free speech resolution in its upcoming shareholders meeting. The resolution proposed by the American Family Association, a Christian conservative group, urges Apple to scrutinize its adherence to First Amendment freedoms, particularly in the context of international speech and censorship standards. The SEC, rejecting Apple's argument of having already addressed the resolution's concerns, insists on its consideration at the spring meeting. The Alliance Defending Freedom, representing AFA, emphasizes the need for Apple's transparency and equality in treating political and religious views. This ruling comes amidst ongoing scrutiny over Apple's alleged censorship of conservative perspectives, highlighted by its 2023 index score of 8% in the Viewpoint Diversity Score Business Index. Apple's App Store review guidelines profess a commitment to diverse viewpoints. It also maintains a prohibition on content deemed, quote, offensive, including discriminatory or inflammatory material. City View Church in Fort Worth, Texas, a church established by Matt Chandler's The Village Church, has decided to withdraw from the Acts 29 church planting network. Pastor Rick White of City View Church highlighted the significant departure, marking a shift for a church deeply involved in the network for nearly two decades. White cited flawed organizational structure, poor decision-making, and a leftward theological drift as reasons for the resignation. He expressed regret for having to make this decision and invited those affected to contact him for apologies or repentance. White, representing a group of Acts 29 pastors, felt their concerns were not adequately addressed by the network's leadership. He criticized Acts 29 for favoring larger churches and leaving smaller ones without a significant voice. Despite CityView's long-standing commitment and contributions to the network, including hosting church planting conferences and establishing multiple churches, White can no longer recommend the network as a good stewardship of time, money, and energy. CityView Church, started in 2006, was a result of a partnership with the Village Church. Acts 29, co-founded by David Nicholas and Pastor Mark Driscoll, has faced leadership controversies, including the ousting of Driscoll in 2014 and the removal of CEO Steve Timmis in 2020. Matt Chandler, executive chairman of Acts 29's board, also stepped down temporarily from his roles in 2022 following an inappropriate online interaction. Father Ignacio Medina, previously the pastor of Our Lady of the Lake Parish in Lake Ozark, Missouri, has been found guilty of sexual solicitation during confession. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Jefferson City announced the verdict, which followed an investigation led by the Holy See's dicastery for the doctrine of the faith. The Catholic Church's Code of Canon Law states that such offenses can lead to severe punishments, including dismissal from the clerical state. Medina, however, will remain a priest, but is barred from holding any ecclesiastical office, hearing confessions, or celebrating Mass without explicit permission from his bishop. The diocese initiated the investigation in 2022 after receiving a report through their Safe Environment Abuse Hotline. Bishop W. Sean McKnight of Jefferson City emphasized the gravity of the offense, describing it as a sacrilege, a crime in our church, and a grave form of abuse. Medina did not appeal the verdict, making the penalties final. While his privileges as a priest are substantially curtailed, Medina will continue to receive financial support as a retired priest. In a captivating appearance on Shannon Sharpe's Club Shay Shay, actor and comedian Cat Williams ignited a viral sensation with over 37 million views in just five days. Williams, in a frank and extended three-hour conversation with the former NFL player, claimed 2024 to be a pivotal year for unmasking a malevolent consortium in America. He vehemently refuted allegations made against him by fellow comedians like Cedric Kyles and Steve Harvey, insisting on the unadorned power of truth. The 52-year-old, known for his independent stance, criticized Hollywood for pressuring black male actors into cross-dressing roles and promoting a homosexual agenda. Williams's interview also touched on diverse topics including God, Satan, Kanye West, Bishop T.D. Jakes, marriage, and adoption. You can read the highlights of 10 things you can learn from this Cat Williams interview by clicking the link in today's podcast show notes. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, a Republican, has enacted an executive order banning sex change surgeries for minors, a move criticized by conservative advocacy groups as insufficient. This order follows DeWine's veto of House Bill 68, which would have prohibited puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and trans-identified male athletes from competing in girls' sports. DeWine supports the use of puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones, citing the life-saving impact they have on minors. 
Matt Sharp from the Alliance Defending Freedom and commentator Matt Walsh have both condemned the executive order for not going far enough and failing to address male participation in women's sports. The Ohio House of Representatives, holding veto-proof majorities, plans to discuss overriding DeWine's veto. Currently, 24 states have regulations requiring trans-identified athletes to compete according to their biological sex, citing physiological advantages males have in sports. A new seven-part film series titled Thankful is underway, delving into the rich history of the Winans family, a name deeply entrenched in gospel music royalty. This ambitious project, spearheaded by Five Zero Studios London and Michael Winans, traces the family saga over five generations and 200 years, beginning in North Carolina in 1805. The series will navigate through the family's origins in Mississippi and Michigan, dramatizing the extraordinary journey from the enslavement of Lewis and Ruby Winans to the liberation and triumphs of their descendants. Emphasizing the spiritual fortitude and struggles of Lewis and Ruby, the narrative will explore the profound faith and miraculous odyssey leading to their 13 children. The Winans family celebrated in both Christian and mainstream music circles with over 50 Grammy Awards, includes the famed quartet The Winans and the successful duo B.B. and C.C. Winans. Gail Benson, owner of the New Orleans Saints and New Orleans Pelicans governor, has made a substantial donation to the Good Shepherd School in New Orleans. This contribution will enable the Catholic school, which serves pre-K to grade 7 students from low-income urban families, to open a new campus on Desire Street, named the Gail and Tom Benson Good Shepherd School, Giving Hope Campus. Gail Benson emphasized the importance of education, stating, quote, Education is the key that unlocks a world of possibilities, and her donation is seen as a commitment to providing opportunities for children in need. The school, founded in 2001, stands out for its commitment to helping students realize their fullest potential, with a notable track record of 100% high school graduation and 85% college enrollment rates among its graduates. This move is part of Benson's broader Giving Month initiative, during which she supports various charitable organizations, reinforcing her and her late husband Tom Benson's long-standing dedication to faith-based and philanthropic efforts. You can learn more about this story and everything you heard about in today's podcast by clicking the link in the show notes below. Thank you for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. We encourage you to follow the show in your podcast player of choice, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or third-party podcast players like Overcast and Pocket Casts. You can also download the Edify app for free and listen to all the podcasts on the Edify network by clicking the link in today's podcast show notes. We would also appreciate a five-star rating in Apple Podcasts and Spotify to help us reach a wider audience with the Christian Post Daily Podcast. You can also subscribe to our daily newsletter and get the top headlines delivered to your inbox by clicking that link in the show notes as well. Thank you again for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Podcast.